Hey guys, welcome back to Cassandra. Shauna got my favorite Jimmy Juice here in my company. And we hope that you guys are having a good day today. Let's get into this. Ryan McKnight and his past and present kids, the kids that he don't want to say, um, you know, he's using them as past tense, like those as past kids. And, you know, he got the little baby now, so that's, that's just what he's doing. But this is the thing that I wanted. I just don't understand this. I have seen people be in relationships, right? And the person can give them an STD and they'll stay. Can have a baby on them, they would stay. Cheat on them at least about 300 times, they'll stay. Um... As long as just a lot of stuff. Steal from them, take money, mentally, verbally abuse them. And just do them all kind of bad. Just just everything is, is wrong. They can't lift you up if you paid them. But for free, for, for free, they're willing to put you down in any possible way. And it just, hey, let me just put you down because this is what I want to do. Okay, I, I was born to talk about you and to put you down. I was born to make you love me just so I can hate you so bad. Okay, I, I don't know what else to say. Okay, and the thing that gets to me, people would take these type of people back. You, heck, you would even beg them to come back to you. Knowing good as I will, they're not good and you don't even do nothing. You'll find yourself being the first person making that phone call or knocking at the door and just waiting for them. They did all that stuff. But guess what? When it comes down to your family, your own blood, your parents, your kids, siblings, you don't have time. You'll go and write the longest post on social media. You will tell everybody in the world the business and you're already like this. Oh yeah, um one thing I just need everybody to know. <sighs> um year two three Michael Jordan's member. I'm not doing that. Not this year. Okay? In and, and I repeat, I'm not doing this. This makes what five years that I haven't spoken to my family. My brothers and my sister. I don't even look I just seen and we see each other every single day at the light. At the light, we see each other and guess what? You think that I'm finna know? Okay. And I, but I have this inner peace within myself. I don't need these people. I have been doing good by myself, for myself. I mean, only thing is I ask them, could they go pick up my baby or whatever? Their niece, could they go pick them up from school? They told me. First, well, first they ain't answer the phone, and then after that, I I text them. I I kind of got a feeling they was gonna say they didn't have to do, they wasn't gonna do it, and then I get this text message. Okay, I they know I just started this job. I get this text message. Oh, I can. I'm at work too. Yeah, right. Okay, and even if they was at work, you couldn't leave your job because I just started. I just started working. I just started here, and they knew that, but I ain't speak to them for five, for like five years, and yes, I'm feeling blessed. Two, three. Okay, you will write that whole thing over something like that, and do your, your darndest to make these posts, and to make sure you, you, you talk bad about your family. But when it, it comes to the person that's not even your blood, you have all the patience in the world. You, 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 you're Job, huh? In the Bible? This is just crazy. Now, this is what I want to say with Brian and I. I don't, I do not think that his sons, his daughters, is innocent in doing anything to him to probably dis, uh, disappoint him. And I'm pretty sure he have disappointed them. Now, here's where it comes at where it's like, it's, one of those things where you don't really know what's going on because he was married to his son's mom since like they've been here since 1990 and broke up what I believe 2001 
three. That's a long, that's a pretty good lengthy time. But around this time, I know, you know, he's probably getting himself together. And, you know, you can't be, especially when you're hot, you got to do those tours. You probably can't, I can't probably make the money and be home to, to you know, support as far as like with the kids. Who knows what the issue really is there? Because it's really hard to say, okay, I want to be a provider for my wife and my family with making the big money and be present 24-7. If you as a celebrity, it's very hard to do. Now, who knows what really happened between them? But I am going to say this, Brian, to me, you look foolish and you look stupid, okay? I know, and, and if you pay attention and look at this, we see Kurt Franklin that had an issue with his son, his son that spoke out, um, and have felt left out. We had once upon a time Ricky Ricky Smiley's son spoke out, had an issue with him. We got fifty cent son has spoke out and had an issue with him. And now we have Brian McKnight sons and his daughter is having an issue with him now why is why is it that way what what is going on here like why are these guys feeling left out but if you mention something to them you hear the the dad saying they think they're entitled Okay, I got up, I worked, I did this, I did that, and, uh, oh, dad can I don't remember. All of a sudden, you don't remember. You don't remember what I did for you. No, they don't. They really, they wouldn't know. Because now that it, it would be left up to, right, the mom to put the encouraging words into the kids. So then that they, that way they know. Because my mom did it with me and us like we it was seven of us and my mom was was the provider for everything yes I see my dad loved him to death my mama never spoke bad about him god bless and rest to his soul never but as I got older and we still had respect for my dad but we could see things like okay and even then when we be like okay my mama wasn't having that. This is your daddy. You're not going to be disrespectful. You're not going to say, whatever. I don't care what he do, do to me. He could have hit me in my head with, a, with the arm um, pot, which that ain't never happened. But even if it did, my mom probably would have been like, okay, that does not matter. You stay in a child's place. This is your dad and it's an adult. You don't do that. So because my mom put that goodness in us to not talk about him, it raised the bar for love and, and just, just showing us how things are supposed to be because you really could be a better woman or a better man. Okay. So you wasn't there for whatever reason, whatever was going on. But I can say right now, okay, guys, I truly believe, well, females have their heart too. But I don't know. I think younger guys have it harder because they know I got to have money and I have I have to have the latest of the latest of all things. And then on top of that, it doesn't look good for anybody to know my dad. And he has money like that and we're now rich and but I'm not living it it don't look like it I mean yeah the house it look like it but other stuff is like okay my my freaking homeboy has got more 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 joints than me you know and that that is it I mean I, I I don't know he's he's not there he he just can never be there because he's always on tour he's always doing this he always doing that he don't have time for us and if we ask him for, you know, hey, can you get me a car? Nope. Tell your mom to get it. Keep up on the child support. That's what that is for. And I'm going to call you back because I'm in the studio to make this truck. Okay. Now, 
all of that little creepy crap didn't happen. But Brian, what I feel like you should do, Brian, okay? What I feel you should do, okay? You know what you're doing. You're doing it on purpose. It's like one of those relationships when you're not over it, but you want to convince them and the world that you're happy. And matter of fact, you could be very happy, but you just know where they're standing and where they're at at the moment. Like, okay, I'm doing better than you. So um, everything you do, Everything you start off with, you are giving thanks, okay, to your lovely wife, your son, and, and their kids, her kids, which is now y'all kids, you, you, with everything you do. You get up there, you want to go and make us do, do a song. You want to, um, yes, before I start back at one, <laughs> before I start that, let me just let everybody know, okay, um, yeah, I know some of you guys have been reading some things about me, I'm pretty sure. But before I start that, I just wanted everybody to know I have the best, okay, the best wife in the whole wide world. My little son has brought me nothing but joy. Everything is going to go to him. I'm making sure I say that again. Everything is going to him. The will, everything. Okay, it would not go to those past kids. Those past kids, they don't need anything. My daughter, mm -hmm. wait a minute, guys. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish um, with what I'm saying because I know you guys paid the tickets to hear me sing. But let me just say this. Okay, let me finish. My daughter, <clears throat> I know you guys been looking. She tried to sell me for a million dollars. And she tried to do that for this million dollars. But guess what? We end up settling. For 300 and something. I gave her that much right there on the spot. Now, why wouldn't she want the million? Can't you see what this is about, guys? So, I don't know those kids. I used to know them. But I really don't know those kids, okay? Um, again, I just want to say, okay, um, I love my wife so much. My little Brian, that he's getting my whole wheel. And, um, you know. To my stepkids that I don't call stepkids, I, I, they're my real kids, so I can't say step. Um, I just bought two of them. Uh, I forgot, what was it? I have to ask my wife. It was one of those fast cars, a Ferrari or something. I was just so proud of them. And that was, and that was that one. But we're living life. I love it. Okay, I just love them so much. They don't give me problems. They don't ask. The more that they don't ask, the more I start giving them stuff, okay? And they're right there on the road. Wife, smile. Kids, smile. See? They're even here with me. You see that? But those past kids, who cares? Um, And that's, that, that's it. And one more thing before I go. I want to say this. Guys, you can say, I be, I, I've spent, what, 33 years trying to build this re reputation of myself. Okay, I did. 30, 33 to get this rep. Just to have those past kids mess it up? I don't think so. Now listen. If you guys have a problem with me, I understand. But what you won't do. <laughs> you're not going to do this. Don't go on my page talking about my wife. She's innocent. She have done nothing but show love. And, and hey, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Because of the next person that do that. We're gonna just you're gonna be blocking them suing you. That's all I can say. And if you guys hate that I'm so happy that God gave me this 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 wife that I have right now, something's wrong. Okay, you're in the wrong group. Go back to those past kids, and that's it. All of that crap there don't make no sense. You you you're doing way too much. And a lot of times what happened is this. When men give the mom the child support, majority of the times they think they have done everything. Like their money makes up for spending time, being there, doing things, having that conversation. It makes up for a lot of stuff because they feel entitled to say this because they know it is a, it's a shortage with real men taking care of their kids. 
And I'm talking about taking care of the kids where they don't have to be forced to do it. Yes, I know. Some females is just nasty. They're going to do it anyways. But we're talking about the ones that it's not nasty. And once the men get put on some job support, that's it. Let them go buy some freaking Jordans. And that's also it. Okay, so what else do you want from me? Because I just bought the Jordans. Mm. Did, you, did your mama tell you that? Did your mama tell you that? Okay. So ain't nobody saying that. But that's it. So, guess what, guys? We're out. Let us know what you think about this hot pickle uh, mess. But, Brian, okay, you're getting older. You have kids. You should try to sit down and see where's the hurt coming from. And maybe you need to sit and, and talk to somebody, too. Because once you start really treating your own blood like it's a co-worker, that's a problem. And with everything that you're doing, you keep giving praise. Yes, you're supposed to give that to your wife. But every little thing you're giving the praise to your wife, this is when things start happening. When we start to brag, overly brag on certain things. It, it, it gets taken away from us or we just lose it somehow, some way. Because it's never that serious. Because, listen, we're out and we're going to start this thing back at one. Brian, you do a little bit better. Kids, if y'all know, y'all know your dad, okay? Just don't go back online saying nothing about him. Because after this, ain't no telling what he going to be doing. I mean, he already not putting y'all in the wheel. So, just, just stop. And I, I don't know where Brian came from. I didn't know he was like this. Guess what? We're out.